The problem statement in question 9 is as follows. If the third and the ninth terms of an AP are 4 and minus 8 respectively, which term of this AP is 0? So I'm going to show you two ways to solve this. One is a simple visualization that can help you solve it quickly within a few seconds. And then the other is the uh, writing the solution out algebraically, which is what you would do on a test or an exam. So first look at this picture, which shows you the terms of an AP of the AP going from T3 to T9 and all the other terms of the AP in between. So we are given that T3 is 4 and T9 is minus 8. And to get from T3 to T9 in the AP, we have to make six jumps of the common difference. So for example, to go from T3 to T4, we need this jump of the common difference D and so on. So we have six jumps of the common difference. So six jumps of the common difference or 6D takes us from 4 to minus 8. And what is the difference between minus 8 and 4? So minus 8 minus 4 is minus 12. So 6 jumps of the common difference takes us from 4 to minus uh, 8 or a change of minus 12. So 6d must be equal to minus 12 or d must be equal to minus 2. And this means that because t3 is 4, then t4 will be 2 and t5 will be 0. So the term of the AP which is 0 is T5. But now let me show you how to write out the solution more rigorously if it were to come on a test or an exam. So we will start by assuming that the first term of the AP is A and the common difference is D. Okay. Now we are given that the third term is 4. So Let's first make use of this fact. So T3 is equal to 4. Now let's write use the expression for the nth term of an AP. So T3 in terms of A and D, this can be written as A plus N minus 1D. So N is 3. So N minus 1 is 2. So A plus 2D is equal to uh, 4. And then we are also told that T9 is equal to minus 8. So this means that A plus N minus 1D or A plus 8D is equal to minus 8. So now we have these two linear equations in A and D. So let's write them out here. So A plus 2D is equal to 4 and A plus 8D is equal to minus 8. So now to solve this pair, we can subtract the two equations. So let's call this equation 1 and let's call this equation 2. So we can do 2 minus 1. So by 2 minus 1, what will we get? On the left side, we'll get 8D minus 2D. So that's 6D. So 6D and on the right side, we'll get minus 8 minus 4. So that's minus 12. And this is the exact, exact same equation we obtained when we were visualizing the key idea behind the solution. So 6D is equal to minus 12. And this means that D is equal to minus 2. And now if you substitute this value of D into uh, the first term, into the first equation, what do we get? So we get a plus 2d, so a minus 4 is equal to 4, and this means that a is equal to 8. So we have found the value of d and we found the value of a. Now all that remains to be done is to find the position of the term 0 in the AP. So if that, so let me write clear out the area on the left side. Okay, so if the required position is n, then we have a plus n minus 1d, this should be equal to 0. And now we substitute the values of a and d. So a is 8 plus n minus 1 times d is minus 2. This is equal to 0. Uh, let's expand the expression on the left side. So a minus 8 minus 2n plus 2 is equal to 0. And this gives us 2n is equal to 10 or n is equal to 5. So the term of the AP that is equal to zero is the fifth term. And this is exactly what we obtained when we were solving the problem directly through visualization. So, you know, in AP, the thing is that it's very easy if you, if you visualize what's happening, if you visualize the situation, it's very easy to understand how to solve the problem and uh, the key idea behind the problem. Uh, so even if you have to write out the answer algebraically or regressively like the way I did, uh, make sure that you mentally at least visualize what is happening 
uh, behind the scene uh, what is the key idea behind the problem to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers